going to talk about the genitofemoral nerve block. Uh, there are two ways to scan the structure. You can scan the structure from the top or you can scan the structure from the bottom. I'll start scanning the femoral artery. Once you've started the scanning of femoral artery, turn the ultrasound probe longitudinal, looking for the femoral artery in the long axis. Once you have looked at the femoral artery in the long axis, when you move up and move medially, you will then start to look at the structures of the spermatic cord. And this is which will be your area of interest. And here in this image, you would see your area of interest is the spermatic cord along with its content. The genitofemoral nerve may be branched outside the spermatic cord or it will be located inside the spermatic cord. The advice is to inject two and a half cc's of local anesthetic and steroid mixture inside the spermatic cord and another two and a half cc's of mixture outside the spermatic cord. This way you will be able to block the nerve uh, and the variability of the branches of the genitofemoral nerve. We'll be talking about the second technique of scanning the genitofemoral nerve. This technique you will basically be looking for the inferior epigastric artery. So in this image we have rectus muscle along with the inferior epigastric artery and then you will be following up scanning this inferior epigastric artery distally looking for its merging into the external iliac artery. Now we have an inferior epigastric artery going down medially going down and now it's going to join to the external iliac artery and where it joins to the external iliac artery is the structure where you will find the genital branch of the genitofemoral nerve which we will be able to block using an in-plane technique coming from lateral to the medial. So the needle structure you will target would be from lateral to medial with an in-plane technique. You can also block this nerve out of plane given that it's a vascular structure uh, surrounding the nerves it's better to do an in-plane technique so you could manipulate the needle precisely and you can also localize the needle tip accurately. Thank you.